first, prepare your phone. And second, display the green on it. And third, the creativity is in your hand. So let's start today's the scenes. <laughs> How's it going people? Welcome back to another new episode of The Scenes and thanks for tuning in again. So once we start filmmaking, we learn a lot of new things like, like basic video editing skills and color grading stuff and camera moves as we make videos. But at some point, we're gonna end up doing something. If you are a creator too, probably you and I both have already experienced that. If you're new, you're going to in the future. So that something is green screen. Okay, so today, the scene I'm going to remake is this. And also, I'm going to show you guys how to do green screen effect with your phone in Premiere Pro. Okay, from now, I'm going to disappear for a while and leave the rest of the show to the editing guy this time. Hey man, you're up. Yes, sir. All right, so as always, let's breathe a new life into the footage. Enjoy. Yo, what's up guys? I'm the editing guy. So first thing first, I'm going to show you that scene without effect. So like this, all you need is phone and pure green image. It doesn't have to be phone, it could be tablet or laptop. And about this green image, just go to Google and search green image or green wallpaper and pick up the purest one. And after downloading that green image, display it on your phone and one tip right here. Set the display brightness maximum. That way, this whole green screen effect in Premiere Pro is gonna be so much easier and simpler. So as you know, in this scene, we are going into another scene through the phone display. That means there are two footages. So the scene A is this phone and green screen this comes first and scene b is this guy reading this comes after so i want to put this scene b on the display of scene a and gradually going into the scene b from scene a and like i said this scene a this green image comes first so that means this comes over the scene b right here so i'm going to place this below scene a this green image okay like this so i want to zoom into this display gradually from around here to here, like one frame before this clip ends. So I'm going to crop it at this point and make a keyframe. So I'm going to make it bigger until this green image covers the screen and move in X and Y. Yep, like this. Now this green image covers this whole screen and keyframe this and go back to second point where the zooming in start and make position and scale back to default like this and now play it again from here zooming in and changes to scene B yep perfect you know also you can keyframe right here at the very end of this clip but personally I want some space between those two so I made a keyframe one frame before this clip ends. So now we are ready to actually edit this green screen. Okay, before you go into deeper and deeper willy excuses, let's take a quick break right here. You know, maybe someday I want to do like giant green screen and a huge explosion and me running away from that in the future in a bigger project. But you know, step by step. Everyone starts from this little green screen with phone. Ah, continue. Okay, so like I said, I want to place a scene B on this green screen of scene A. So to do that, you have to make some sort of blank window on this green screen. So first, go to effect and search ultra. Yep, like this, ultra key and drag this to scene A. So by using this ultra key, you can select some specific colors and you can make blank window on that color. So for example, I'm going to select this green and now this is blank. So place another footage under this footage. Like this. See, this is like a window. So we can see only this part of this footage. So another tip right here. This time I'm using this green, but you can use any colors. But one thing you have to be careful is don't use same color except where you want to apply this ultra key. So like I said, in this case, I'm using green for ultra key. So there isn't other green except 
this foam display where I want to apply the effect. So for example, now I want to use orange for ultra key. So I'm trying to make a blank window on this hand and place the scene B on this hand. So what I'm gonna do is select this hand, this orange, but everything is going wrong because this book and this pen is also orange. When you pull the key of hand, those oranges are also selected. It's not that this is impossible way. You can adjust to select only this hand, this orange, but it's gonna be so much work. So make sure there is only one thing, one colorful ultra key. So I'm going to hide this scene B to check if I pull the green precisely and select this green like this. It looks good at this point, but when you zoom in, those edges are kind of you know, rough, not clean. So next, I'm going to change this output to alpha channel like this. Now I can see if I select this green right and going to this matte generation and do some adjustment. So first thing I do is change this transparency. So by moving this, you can select only this green. I mean, now it's black, but this is actually green. So not like this, you know, this hand and this pan, this wall are also selected, only this black. So something like this. And also you should move like this and check if it's right. But as you can see at this point, it's not even. You know, we select this area enough, but not enough this area. So when that happens, I also change highlight, shadow, tolerance, pedestal. So first highlight. Okay, this doesn't change that much, so I'm going to leave as is. So shadow, a little bit lower. And tolerance, I'm not gonna change it. Pedestal, maybe 100%. And okay, now it's good. So moving this bar around this clip. Okay. Now I selected enough. So now I'm going to make this output back to composite and I'm going to zoom in a little bit, 100%. Okay, we can see a little bit green on these edges. Yep, so I'm going to clean this up. So moving to this matte cleanup in here, we can fix those edges. So choke, soften, contrast, midpoint. So I'm going to make those edges less harsh. So moving this choke this and soften I'm going to make it softer not gonna change contrast and midpoint yep something like this okay that's it I'm not gonna do other corrections okay play it back good okay I'm gonna stop right here I'm alright with this so I didn't do this on the actual bureau of the gears episode 18 but you can add some blur on this scene B because this scene A starts from out of focus and getting focused as the camera gets close to this phone like this so actually the image in the display should start from out of focus too but now look at the display the focus is too right so I'm gonna make it blurred okay so go to effect again and search blur yep this one gaussian blur gaussian i don't know what it is gaussian drag this on scene b this time so i'm going to find when the scene a is in focus well actually i already found it this point and before you do anything make sure this blur dimension is horizontal and vertical so i'm going to keyframe blurriness at this point and go back to at the very beginning of this scene b and make it blurred around i don't know maybe 50 yeah same blurriness okay and play back yep i think it's all right you know both of them are blurred blurred still blurred still blurred but getting focused getting focused getting focused now both of them are focused good now it's much more better it's real so at the last let's play back again Yep, I'm pretty happy about this. So now my job is done like this. I'll give this back to you. Okay, that was it. Was it simple and easy? Or the detail adjustment sounds kind of complicated? Well, about that, once you get used to it, you will able to do it with your feeling. All you need is phone and a green image. And this was a very basic of green screen, so you can apply this to a bigger project. And also, I got this comment. It's a question if I can provide my footages. So I'm going to share with you guys some of my S-Look 2 footages that you can practice your editing and color grading. Link it below. Download them for free and practice it, but only for personal use for now. There is a lot of lies and fakes in filmmaking.
but what you see and what you hear and what you read exist. The truth cannot survive in lies. See the truth. Okay, this is it. If you have any questions about this video, don't hesitate to leave the comment below. And if you have any requests for next scenes, also leave the comment below. So today's topic is pretty much it, and thank you for watching this video. If you like this scene, show me a thumb and uh, hit the subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.